to the adventurers of Azeroth, to heroes of far-off realms, to anyone desperate to cast off their chains and unleash their potential. This adventure is for you. An adventure born from the culmination of everything that came before it. The foundations have been laid through the flames of determination to unleash your creativity in every way you've ever imagined. Your desire for adventure burns stronger than ever. And in Season 8, that fire is unleashed. New World Forge enchants demand exploration. New masteries unlock. New power is yours to command. New abilities yours to wield. The world is revitalized, rekindling dungeons, raids, and breathing new life into the world. A world that will test your mettle as much as sate your bloodlust. Storm into Azeroth in Ascension's biggest season ever. Your potential is unleashed, and the very elements themselves are yours to control. Welcome to Season 8. Join us on Ascension's biggest season ever, a fresh seasonal realm where you'll begin your adventure with tens of thousands of other players all at once. Progressing through expansions as you experience the greatest adventure in Azeroth yet from start to finish. On season eight, Ascension is unleashed. More exploration, more adventure, more choice. It's the culmination of seven years worth of efforts to let you forge your classless hero. This season is the greatest opportunity for new heroes and veterans alike to unleash their potential on Ascension. You get to do it all. Explore the open world and unlock the power of gods through new World Forge enchantments. Harness new ways to sway the hands of fate. Master new spells and abilities. Tame the elements. Delve into revitalized dungeons and mythic raids. Discover incredible new craftables and engage in the most cutthroat battles for conquest and glory in high-risk PvP. And that is just half of the first of Season 8's four chapters. Every enhancement is designed to unleash your potential, and you'll be the first to reap the rewards of a world unleashed. Season 8 is the result of Ascension's ultimate goal, to unlock your potential, discover your build, and forge your fantasy classless hero in the world that you love. Join us now as we cover the new features in detail so that you'll be equipped to proceed forward. Season 8 is an adventure to explore your unbound potential and harness it, using it to defeat challenges known and unknown. And as you unleash your build's true power, you'll use it to overcome trials and find there's still more to discover, and that the nostalgic world you love holds more potential than you ever imagined. Ascension has grown larger than ever. League 3 and Season 7 both set records for highest population for their respective game modes, and that means there's an exceptional demand for both game modes on Ascension. In Season 8, you won't have to wait to play your favorite game mode with many of the new features and a bigger population. Season 8 brings many of the features in this video to free pick, so you can enjoy the new updates with a bigger population and whichever game mode you prefer. For heroes interested in playing on both realms, there will be a Vanity Sync option available. So if you unlock something on Free Pick, you'll have it on Draft and vice versa. This lets you enjoy either realm at any time, knowing your collection will follow you. Azeroth is rife with incredible places to see and explore, but over time, we've uncovered many of the hidden secrets that make the adventure so grand. World Forge enchantments arrive on Season 8 to reinvigorate the thrill of exploration. World Forge enchantments are enchantments scattered throughout the world, adding greater depth, exploration, and adventure to your experience. With World Forge enchantments, you'll unlock new archetypes based on boss spells and other powerful effects, based on where the enchantment is obtained. Every location you explore is a chance to discover something amazing and new that you've never seen before, potentially transforming your hero and changing the entire way you play, if you choose to harness it. This means that your exploration could unlock new build paths along your journey, making it more rewarding and worthwhile than ever before. If you want to obtain these powerful World Forged enchantments, you'll have to discover them yourself. Explore the world and find hidden enchantments scattered throughout Azeroth. 
You'll find them in dungeons, raids, chests from creatures, hidden merchants, quest chains, and more. World Forge enchantments are not tradable. Everyone can't just go to the auction house to search up the World Forge enchantment and copy you. This means that enchantments you discover and earn make you truly unique. Additionally, these enchantments are realm-wide once added to your collection. This means once you unlock a World Forged enchantment, you can use it across all of your alts. World Forged enchantments are tailored towards the type of content they're discovered in. You won't have to farm PvE content to unlock a powerful PvP enchantment and vice versa. World Forged enchantments imbue new life into your adventure in Azeroth. Do the content you enjoy, and you just might find a World Forged enchantment that fits your playstyle. When adventuring throughout Azeroth, there are times when you need the right tool for the right job, where a certain spell or skill would help immensely. But in the past, you've been limited in your ability to pick up situational tools on classless. You never had enough ability essence or ability gems to warrant spending them on spells and skills that you would only use in certain situations. This made gameplay feel linear. You always approached situations the same way, which lacked a lot of gameplay depth. You had to either pick up all the tools at the expense of your desired class fantasy, or you had to sacrifice power to express class fantasy. On top of all of that, there was no way to anticipate what your opponent might do next, and you likely didn't have any options on how to approach new situations, even if you could. Introducing Masteries. Masteries allow you to unlock a bucket or category of spells and obtain more spells in that category without lowering your chance to get more rares. For example, this means by learning any Paladin Seal, you unlock Seal Mastery. With Seal Mastery, future seals will only cost ability essences. You'll have the flexibility to take Seal of Righteousness, Wisdom, Light, and more to deal with different situations as they arise. Likewise, if you learn Hunter Aspect Mastery, you'll be able to learn aspects like Hawk, Beast, Cheetah, Pack, Monkey, Viper, and more without spending all of your rare ability gems. This allows you the freedom to take situational spells that you can make use of at the right time, which could mean the difference between life and death. Masteries expand the ways that you can deal with unexpected challenges, unlocking your full potential and giving you exponentially more options to forge your hero. Seal Masteries, Aspect Masteries, Trap Masteries, Totem Masteries, Aura Masteries, and many more are available for you to unlock. In Season 8, you don't just have choices in how you build, but how you play. Masteries are just one of many changes to up your versatility. Talent Loadouts debut in Season 8. Talent Loadouts allow you to freely swap between different sets of talents. In Free Pick, you can use them to quickly swap between talent configurations during your raid, dungeon, or to switch between PvE and PvP without spending gold or using any resets. In Draft, you can use talent loadouts to utilize the same build in a variety of content. Whether it's dungeons, raids, battlegrounds, Mythic Plus, Arena, or anything else, you can have a talent configuration for each, allowing you to fully leverage the potential of your current build. This gives you a clearer identity and also makes you more flexible. To unlock your talent loadouts, obtain a Tome of Talents. Using this scroll will unlock the talent loadout for the specialization in your character advancement. This update allows you to express different dimensions of your build without unneeded friction in draft and free pick. Stacking the deck with powerful cards is the thrill of draft. It should be about discovering your build, knowing every great card is a step towards mastering fate, and you forcing its hand with the cards you choose. But one of the biggest problems in Draft was that it discouraged you from picking epic or legendary cards if they weren't the absolute perfect fit for your build. Picking the shiniest card was often the wrong choice. This was unintuitive, and it felt bad. Not anymore with epic and legendary card swaps. Card swaps have a chance to happen each time you draft an ability, whether you level up or use a Hand of Fate. When you get one, 
you can swap out one of your already known epic or legendary abilities for the one listed on the card swap. The more epic or legendary skills you know, the higher your chance of discovering a card swap. Now, you can finally learn epic and legendary skills because you know you'll be able to swap them out later if you want to. This works separately for each quality, and for each epic or legendary you collect, you increase your chance of discovering that rarity's card swap. Epic card swaps will offer you a chance to swap one of your existing epic spells for a new one. Legendary card swaps, likewise, will let you swap out one of your legendary skills for another. If you decide that you don't like the ability on the card swap you're offered, you can always decline it, destroying the swap and maintaining your current build. This ensures that picking an epic or legendary that isn't exactly what you want doesn't destroy your build. With card swaps, you can make full use of any epic or legendary you choose, even if it's only for a few levels. If you want to master fate, it needs to be quick. Seizing your destiny should be a whirlwind adventure. This isn't. Fate shouldn't be 17 clicks away, and with the new Hand of Fate UI in Season 8, you'll spend more time drafting your build than chit-chatting with Silas. This update ensures that you get a clear picture of when new Hands of Fate unlock, how many are available, the current cap, how many Marks of Ascension you have, and what specialization you're in. In Season 8, sculpting your fate is clear and easy, and Silas can finally help you. Have a great day now. As a final draft change, lucky skill cards and guaranteed skill cards can no longer appear at the same time. It sucked having to choose between them when this happened, and now it just doesn't. Each of these draft changes are focused around smoother gameplay, removing unfortunate mechanical obstacles so that you can enjoy the time you spend playing. You unleash your potential through the abilities you choose, making them an integral part of your adventure. The skills you master unlock paths to greatness and make your hero uniquely yours. The more spells available, the more choice you have over how to express yourself on your adventure. Season 8 continues to expand the spells and abilities available on Ascension so that you can play the way you want. Burning rushes, healing rains, orbs, glaives, and more expand your choices and the ways you can realize your destiny and separate yourself from the masses. Some of these are core rotational abilities, meaning some all new builds arrive with these spells, expanding the archetypes you're able to play while giving new tools to existing archetypes. Unleashing your power means bending the elements to your will, from the spells you choose to the pets you tame. Your companion is your strength made manifest, and in season eight, you'll be in your element. You can tame elementals, further expanding the ways that you can customize your hero. You can find Heather Elemental in the Shaman Elemental Tree, and it works just the same as Tame Dragon, Shackle Undead, and Enslaved Demon. Using it, you can tame dozens of different types of elementals. Harness fire, wind, earth, and water elementals, and even unique death, phoenix, and bojo elementals each with their own unique abilities. With Season 8, the elements themselves are yours to unleash. Delving into dungeons and raids is a nostalgic experience for all heroes, and vanilla dungeons and raids are iconic, but their mechanics are outdated. They often add needless friction and can be a little boring. You want to truly conquer these dungeons and raids, and that means they need to be engaging. Ascension is replacing outdated vanilla mechanics with fresh changes in a new PvE rework. This PvE rework adds new mechanics and visuals to unleash the full potential of Azeroth's iconic dungeons and raids. This rework ensures that older encounters get modernized, making them more enjoyable, challenging, and rewarding. It also replaces tedium with challenge worthy of your classless champion. In Season 8, you'll spend more time facing challenges instead of running to them. You might even unlock these new spells as world-forged enchantments. No matter where you are in your adventure, if you're ready for a challenge, you should be able to find it. But in the past, there was a huge difficulty gap between heroic and ascended difficulties on Ascension. This caused many guilds to fall apart and fail to bridge the gap. 
Mythic Raids are a brand new raid difficulty that fills the gap between Heroic and Ascended. Mythic Raids will be flexible between 10 and 25 players, letting you face the challenge with your allies no matter how many you have. Additionally, Ascended Raids also become flexible between 10 and 25 players. In the past, a lack of flexible rating prevented people from playing with their guild, because no one wants to bench people on their roster, and no one wants a raid to be destroyed just because one DPS couldn't show. New raid releases will still maintain the integrity of Realm Firsts by requiring Ascended Raids to still be completed at either 10 or 25 man difficulty, despite their new flexibility. This update ensures that there's a challenge suitable for you and any number of allies on your journey to the top. Raids allow you to come together with your friends and allies to accomplish something great. When you see a raid start up, you don't want to have to miss out on it just because you've already cleared it for the week. You want to raid with your friends whenever you can, especially when they could really use your help. Introducing Boss Binding. Boss Binding replaces the old instant lockout system, allowing heroes to be saved to bosses they've killed that week rather than the raid itself. This new lockout gives you the flexibility to raid whenever you want. You can jump into any group at any time and get in on the action. Even if you've already obtained loot from a boss, you can still get additional marks, runes, and orbs, and you'll still get loot from any bosses you haven't been bound to yet. With Boss Binding, it's no longer a massive deterrent to jump into the middle of a raid in progress, because you won't be bound to the bosses that raid has already cleared. And even if you've already killed some of the bosses that week, you can participate knowing you'll be rewarded for your triumph. Additionally, you won't have to worry that a group falling apart ruins your chances of raiding for the week. This serves as incentive to give more groups a shot, letting everyone raid with confidence. In Season 8, Boss Bindings will apply to normal, heroic, and mythic difficulties. This update ensures you get to jump into any raid with whoever you want, whenever you want, allowing you to fully enjoy your adventure. Having a clear UI makes engaging in activities enjoyable and simple. You want to fight monsters, not a menu. In Season 8, both the Transmog UI and Trade Skill window receive big updates to improve both clarity and function. Looking how you want is a huge part of your class fantasy. However, the Ascension Transmog UI is horrendously outdated. You can't store an infinite number of sets, and you have to keep items you want to save in your bags or in your bank if you want to use them in new outfits. Not anymore. Introducing the new Transmog UI. With the new Transmog UI, you can quickly browse, select, and apply transmogrification to your gear quick and easy. It also allows for new additions to the Transmog system. This new UI automatically unlocks items that you equip, letting you access them anytime you want and expanding your collection. You can browse all of your favorite cosmetics in the new UI, mixing and matching them to create your ideal outfit and solidifying your class fantasy. Like the Transmog UI, the Trade Skill window was terribly outdated. In Season 8, this essential UI receives new functionality to make crafting easier and more modern. It now includes a search and filter options to locate recipes a lot easier. And a new Crafting Queue option allows you to create multiple different items with a single click, letting you queue up various craftables to craft in order. Additionally, you can also use the UI to view unlearned recipes and receive hints as to their source location, helping you find recipes you need. Finally, the new Trade Skill UI also allows you to quickly find out what you can make with the items you have in your bags. Right-click an item, and you'll see all recipes that require it as an ingredient. If at any point you decide the UI isn't for you, you can easily swap back with add-ons. These new UIs make crafting and transmogrifying clear and simple, so you can craft easily, look good, and continue with your adventure. Tab targeting is a huge part of how you play and fight in WoW, but different heroes have different expectations for what tab targeting should do. With Season 8, you can now customize tab targeting to your liking, 
With some new options, you can customize tab targeting to prioritize enemies that you're facing, prioritize enemies you're in combat with, change the max target range, and change the max target angle. These customization additions let you mold tab targeting to be more responsive to your individual playstyle. Seasons are massive adventures, and Season 8 is Ascension's biggest adventure yet. The season will be packed with content, with more coming as the season goes on. New spells, new world-forged enchantments, new archetypes, new game modes, updates to existing game modes, new craftables, and new ways to explore Azeroth are only part of what this season offers. You deserve seasons with the potential for enormous game-changing updates. But in past seasons, there was no good time to introduce these big updates without being disruptive. Season 8 is going to keep getting better through big updates and massive changes throughout the entire season. The biggest question is when to do it without being disruptive to your experience. Introducing Chapters Chapters are exciting points in the season where massive change can be expected. Each chapter will have a video of its own explaining all of its upcoming features. Chapters give you a clear timeline to expect and plan for major changes, new content, and a big boost in population, so that during each chapter, you'll know what to expect. Essentially, a chapter is a secured block of time that protects your investment. You can invest in your journey, knowing everything isn't going to change on a whim. Then, as a new chapter approaches, you can use the video update to plan for changes and prepare for the next step of your journey. When a video releases, the website timeline will update with all of the upcoming content. Season 8 unleashes four epic chapters throughout its timeline. These introduce massive changes, shake things up, and keep the adventure thriving. As the season continues, new chapters unfold, bringing with it new tiers of content, additional expansions, and more updates than ever before. In Season 8, each chapter offers a new opportunity to jump back in and conquer the season. Every chapter brings new content and exclusive seasonal items to keep the adventure exciting. With each chapter, you'll tackle brand new content, claiming seasonal achievements which unlock exclusive items. These achievements are unique to each chapter. If you don't complete them before the end, they're gone and the rewards with them. If you do manage to complete these achievements, you'll get points to spend on exclusive rewards. Complete achievements, get points, and claim your rewards. In Season 8, each chapter is its own adventure, complete with unique challenges to overcome. You can find the Seasonal tab right here in your Character Advancement UI. And what's more, this season, you get to share these achievements and more between all of your characters. The friends you make, the reputations you earn, and achievements you unlock are yours. You should have access to them on all of your characters, and you don't need to be bound by system limitations. Whether you spent the time to make friends with Furbogs or achieve that sweet Realm First Hogger, those accomplishments shouldn't disappear just because you're on a new character. So why can't you show them off? Introducing the Realm Wide Update. The Realm-wide update makes three important features completely Realm-wide, so you can benefit from them across any character. Realm-wide achievements, Realm-wide reputations, and a Realm-wide friends list. With Realm-wide achievements, you can now collect and show off achievements across multiple characters. Heroes interested in collecting accolades across multiple seasons and throughout multiple characters will be able to show them off on Core Realms. Achievements are now realm-wide. Just like achievements, the work you put in to gaining reputation shouldn't be bound to your character. On Ascension, if you put in the effort to reach Exalted, you'll now have it across all characters you make on that realm. Heroes who pursue reputation accumulation can now rest assured that their time and efforts will persist across all characters they create. You won't have to farm long reputations to get that one upgrade you need to be viable on your alts. With realm-wide reputations, reputations are more meaningful to gain. Completing a reputation is now a milestone worth pursuing. When you make a friend, it's your friend, not your character's friend. It's too easy to lose the friends you've played with when one of you jumps on another character. So, 
Friends lists are now realm-wide. With a realm-wide friends list, you have access to your friends list no matter which character you log into. You'll know if your buddy that you just ran deadmines with hopped on another alt so you can ask them to play again. With realm-wide updates, your fun, progress, and experience is no longer limited by the character you're on. So jump out and explore the world. High Risk has been with Ascension from the beginning. By its nature, it's gone through many incarnations. Season 7 Burning Crusade was the best iteration of High Risk to date. Venturing into the unknown, slaying notorious monsters, looting hidden chests and monster nests, gathering materials, and making valuable craftables to either help your guild or sell for a hefty profit was what made TBC High Risk engaging. All of this happened while engaged in adrenaline-filled PvP combat. This became the lifeblood of High Risk. High Risk in Season 7 Chapter 2 saw more heroes than ever before exploring and fighting in the High Risk open world. In Season 8, Vanilla is getting the overhaul from TBC and more. High Risk is being tailored to the various types of heroes who want to venture into it, and making more sense of the systems introduced in Season 7. Mercenary is a new mode that replaces much of the outlaw system and allows you to play with your friends regardless of faction and experience everything High Risk Azeroth has to offer. You can freely toggle between your faction or mercenary mode at any time in the capital city. Keep in mind, however, that killing your own faction still gives you criminal intent, making you hostile to NPCs of the same faction. In Season 8, Tier Zones transform to more accurately reflect a better balance of higher risk and higher reward. You'll be able to obtain all materials in every tier, letting you find the tier that's right for you. Whether you're just interested in collecting materials, or you're a murderous thief, whether you prefer group play or you're a lone wolf, no matter what you want, there's a tier and a zone for you. In Tier 1 zones, heroes will only drop items in their bags. This allows anyone with even a glimmer of interest to explore high-risk Azeroth without the risk of losing their precious gear. Ungoro Crater, Ashara, and the Burning Steps are Tier 1 zones. Ungoro Crater is an honorable combat zone, while Ashara and the Burning Steps are group zones. In Tier 1 zones, you'll find primarily core materials and normal Bloodforged gear. Additionally, while you slay enemies and gather spoils, you might attract the attention of a notorious monster. These rare monsters are tougher than average. They have a chance to spawn when you kill an enemy in a Tier 1 zone, and they're the only way to obtain demon materials in Tier 1. With Tier 1 zones, you can venture into the unknown knowing you'll likely leave with spoils from your adventure, without risking your precious gear. In Tier 2 zones, heroes will drop gear, but they'll be able to use Fell Commutation to drop gold instead. Tier 2 zones allow anyone to seek more rewards and raise the stakes, without risking their gear outright. Tier 2 zones drop core materials, demon materials from creatures, and normal Bloodforged gear. The Tier 2 zones are Eastern and Western Plague Lands. Of these, Western Plague Lands is the 1v1 Honorable Combat Zone, and Eastern Plague Lands is Group PvP. Tier 3 zones are for the most bloodthirsty heroes seeking sweat and conquest. Tier 3 zones offer no protection. There is no fell commutation, and anyone who dies will drop gear. The only Tier 3 zones are Silithus and Winterspring, ensuring that no matter where you go, there will be worthy challengers present. Winterspring is a 1v1 honorable combat zone, and Silithus is a group PvP zone. Travel to these zones at your peril, but if you do, you can use Tier 3 zones to acquire most materials and exclusive heroic Bloodforged gear, so that you can PvP like a Sweat King. These updates ensure that heroes can venture into high risk knowing there is a place tailored for the experience they want to have. Whether you're slaying hordes of monsters in Tier 1, raising the stakes for additional rewards in Tier 2, or seeking conquest and glory in Tier 3, there's a zone that's right for you. 
Material events are locations in high-risk zones that massively increase the drop rate of the materials in that area. They enable shared party loot, ensuring that it's always worth forming a party to get these incredible materials. These events are activated with a Keeper's Scroll High Risk. You can see the currently active events on your map at any time as long as you are in High Risk. Everyone can participate in these regardless of who activated the event, and you can collect materials even if you don't have the profession, so you're never limited to what types of materials you can acquire. In Season 8, you can obtain three types of materials no matter what tier that you're in. Sanguine material are a base material used for all high-risk recipes. These drop in every high-risk tier zone, everywhere in that zone, not just in material event areas, giving players who want to avoid events or just farm their favorite spots valuable rewards for doing so. Sanguine materials are used as part of all high-risk crafting recipes. Core materials are used for craftables that are beneficial to all heroes. They're obtained from event areas marked on the map and are obtainable even if the event isn't active. Finally, demon materials are obtained from notorious monsters and in tier two and three event areas. Demon materials craft items most beneficial for niche builds and PVP. High-risk craftables will never require both core and demon materials, meaning you'll know exactly where to go to get the materials you need and have more opportunities to get them. It also ensures that a market exists for these materials at all times. Slaying monsters and other heroes isn't the only way to get gear in high-risk. Heroes who want to venture out into the open world can now discover blood-bound chests from hidden caches and monster nests. In Season 8, the hunt doesn't end when you open a hidden cache or beast nest. Now, when you open one of these hidden treasures, you'll receive a blood-bound chest. Blood-bound chests contain heroic blood-forged gear. However, it's not so easy to unlock the treasures within. Looting a bloodbound chest afflicts you with no retreat, blocking all teleportation and hearthstone effects until you can pry it open, meaning you'll have to escape your pursuers and make it back to town alive. To open a chest and retrieve the treasures within, you'll need to take it back to a sanguine workbench located in major cities. If you die, the chest has an incredibly high chance to drop, meaning if someone finds you, it might just be the end of your treasure. However, even if you do lose it, keep in mind that that chest's looter will now inherit your no retreat as well, giving you ample opportunity to chase him down and steal it back. If you can successfully grab the chest and return to a city, the spoils are yours to keep. To unlock a bloodbound chest, you'll need to upgrade your cash key with a bloody essence. Bloody essences are a material dropped only from monsters in tier three zones. Using them, you can upgrade hidden cash keys to unlock blood-bound chests. Using them and a sanguine workbench located in major cities, you can unlock the blood-bound chest and obtain the heroic blood-forged gear with it. Blood-bound chests give heroes a clear path to obtaining heroic blood-forged gear. They also discourage the stockpiling of keys and using them as soon as a new tier arrives, which circumvents the hot PvP action of tier three zones. Bloodbound chests are another exciting way to gain loot, experience thrills, and engage in high-risk PvP. With all of these changes, tier zones, material events, notorious monsters, mercenary mode, and more, high risk will be more meaningful and more engaging than ever before. Season 8 is Ascension's biggest season ever. The stage is set for newcomers and veterans alike to step into Azeroth unbound and unleashed. Don't miss out on your chance to join tens of thousands of adventurers, all eager to embark on the next step of this epic adventure. With a release date set, it won't be long until all the new updates are in your hands. So let us know in the comments which element of Season 8 you're eager to unleash. Until then, heroes, we'll see you roaming Azeroth. Take it easy.